देखिए आज तक एच डी आज से टाटा स्काई पर चैनल नंबर 508
that you know at the end of the day the Congress has these old entrenched lobbies uh, which perhaps are unwilling to cede power to you. Well, I don't think that Mr. Kamal Nath uh, nor Mr. Ashok Gehlot uh, spent in, uh, uh, more time in their respective states than uh, I uh, or Sachin did uh, in our respective states. I think we all did uh, spend, in, uh, spend a great deal of time in our states. But should you uh, have gone, sorry to intervene, should you have gone, should you have gone, Mr. Sindhya, there four I years ago, uh, would that have improved your chances? I, Sorry to intervene. Would you? Would it have been easier if you had gone four years earlier and actually I, become I have, MP, Congress I, president? I, I have. I have. I have responded to this question of yours earlier as well, Rajdeep. That uh, at the end of the day, uh, I have to abide by my party's decision. Uh, maybe I would have liked to go. Uh, maybe you would have liked to become CEO of uh, India Today TV five years ago. But that's not your choice. Uh, and therefore, you have to deal with the present situation. And in the present situation, as the campaign committee chief, I tried to conduct myself in the best possible manner to dislodge the BJP government. And I think uh, collectively as a party, we were very successful in doing that, whether it was in Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan or Chhattisgarh. And I think the BJP is up for a very, very stiff challenge mm -hmm. uh, in the Lok Sabha, where out of these 65 seats in these three states, they only uh, they retained 62, and the Congress only retained three. And now I think the tables may just turn. But what is the message to a younger India, uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya? This is a younger country. We keep saying 65% Indians under the age of 35. But when it comes to our politics, our politics is full of senior citizens. What's the message, therefore? to a younger India which perhaps saw you and Sachin Pilot as a sign of change. Well, I think the message to younger India is that every, uh, the Congress party believes in promoting every talented individual. Uh, you have many uh, younger persons in the Congress party who today are in positions of strength, whether Sachin was PCC president, uh, whether today he is the deputy chief minister of Rajasthan, uh, whether you have uh, me as a chief whip in parliament, whether you have five or six general secretaries who are all below the age of 45 uh, today in, in the Congress party. Uh, so I, I think that uh, capability is certainly rewarded, but it cannot be the barometer every single time and I think you've got to stop looking at uh, positions from the prism of age but really from the prism of the most apt suited and you and I may have a long argument about who is more suited Mr. Kamal Nath or me but that's not the question in point once the decision is taken then as uh, devoted work workers of the party one has to abide by it and which is why I at that point of time myself said that I will leave for Bhopal immediately and propose his name. So it, it's not fair to say that you were outmaneuvered by the Kamal Nath Digvijay combined despite the fact that the party did so well in the Gwalior Chambal area of which you are seen in a sense as, a, as the face despite that if I were to say that the older guard of Kamal Nath and Digvijay Singh outmaneuvered you in the end when it came to the chief ministerial stakes how would you respond? Well, it is true that in the Gwalior Chambal region, we returned almost 80% of the seats. The BJP was completely and totally wiped out. Out of 34 seats there, 26 seats were in the favor of the Congress. Uh, and so out of the 114 that we, we were able to garner in Madhya Pradesh, almost about 27% of those seats came from uh, the area of, uh, primarily for which I was responsible. I toured all across the state. Uh, but having said that, uh, politics at to a certain degree may be about maneuvering, may be about uh, all of these tactics. Uh, but I don't think that being, uh, being chosen is based on that. And if it is, uh, then too, I really believe that you must, you must, you must uh, have great belief in your fundamental principles and values. And this is the biggest challenge in politics in India today. 
that are you going to allow the system to change you or are you going to try and change the system? And I'd like to be one of the latter rather than the former. If I do not believe in those systems of maneuverings, mm -hmm. then I will not adopt them, let, even though it may be to my detriment. Let me therefore ask you in conclusion, do you feel a little let down by uh, Rahul Gandhi? It appears Sachin Pilot certainly felt so. He actually stood his ground, eventually will be Deputy Chief Minister. Do you feel let down by the system and by Rahul Gandhi in some way? Well, I think that depends upon your barometer of uh, being let down. If your barometer of being let down by uh, the Congress president is only being rewarded with posts, then uh, an individual who feels that should feel let down. I believe that my barometer is the trust, uh, the value, uh, and the belief that my Congress president has in me. And I have full confidence of that. And therefore, if I have full confidence in that, then to me, posts and chairs and races for those do not count for much. What counts for me much more is the trust that my Congress President reposes in me, the value that he sees in me. And if I'm confident about that, then to me, these things are not as important. So it eventually boils down to an individual called Rahul Gandhi. You know, it's the high command culture all over again. You know, it's at the end of the day, who the high command of your party, in this case, the Gandhi family sees as the best for the job, who decides. It's out of your hand. No, that's not true. I don't believe with that at all. Uh, I think there was a very wide process of consultation. Uh, Mr. A.K. Anthony, Jitain Singh was sent down to Bhopal. They conferred with me. I'm not aware whether they conferred with Mr. Kamal Nath. They conferred with me. Uh, there was a wide process of consultation. There was a, a great deal of brainstorming that went on yesterday. And I think at the end of which I personally myself offered and I said that if, the, if it is in the interest of the party, I myself would like to gracefully exit from this and propose his name. And immediately after that, I left for Bhopal. Uh, and the same night, at, last night at 11.30 at night, uh, we had the CLP meeting in Bhopal where I personally uh, proposed his name for Chief Ministership. You know, my, my final question, there was that photograph eventually with Rahul Gandhi, one side Kamal Nath, one side you, both of you smiling, all of you from Dune. I guess at the end of the day, those smiles were not forced, they were genuine smiles. Yes, because that smile uh, can have different variants. Uh, for me, I can't talk about uh, what that smile meant for Mr. Kamal Nath or for Mr. Rahul Gandhi, but the smile certainly for me was that uh, my Congress President has uh, uh, trust in me, has faith in me, uh, and sees value in me. And that to me is the most important barometer in my life. Uh, and therefore for me, that smile was coming from uh, the satisfaction uh, of the belief that, uh, uh, that those are the issues that matter uh, to me personally. Let's leave it there then, Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. You've, as I said, been the chief campaigner of the Congress in Madhya Pradesh. You won the state after 15 years. So whether you are chief minister or, or not, I guess you have something to be satisfied surely about at the end of this long and grueling election campaign. Thank you very much for joining me as my newsmaker tonight. So a long week in Indian politics appears to be finally coming to an end. Ashok Gelot will take over in Rajasthan and of course Kamal Nath in Madhya Pradesh. But forget the politics of our time. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.